Hello and welcome to 20, a rogue's life. Today we are, uh, right now we're playing a knowledge. Uh, but we're going to go off and do the level 45 uh, daily quest here from Franklin, which is going to send us off to, uh, zone is this? The Scarlet Desert on uh, Luckland. Now, uh, as this is a new week and a new, uh, new choice, uh, instead of buying an item this week, I am going to just allow myself to uh, click the J boots uh, that I have from one of my other personas. So I'm going to do that, uh, and that's going to be our new item for the week. But uh, yeah, I did finish all my keys on uh, in another series that I'm using this character in. Uh, this character would not have been able to uh, go any further in the keys because... Uh, in in that series, I, f I discovered that there is a 20,000 damage hit uh, coming out via magic, and we only have 3,000 uh, health. So that's why we were just like dying, and if I was like, why am I dying? I have no idea what's going on. Uh, there was apparently a dot on me that was uh, killing <laughs> killing me. So uh, that is that is uh, that just means that the completing the tower stuff on this character solo at this point is just not doable. Um, it might be doable later on, but I just, at this point, I do not see it uh, feasible. Like, I think we we actually killed the, the, the magma lady, but she, uh, she killed us, so we didn't get credit for it on that one mission. So uh, we can, you know, do the first mission. That one's easy. There's no issues there. Uh, there is two other missions that I ran into. Uh, I think it was the the one after before Steam. So Sky and Frost are going to be difficult for uh, us solo. We might run through them again at some point, but uh, don't really need to at the moment. Uh, I do have currency, right? So when we have 55, we can maybe buy some of that stuff. Uh, if you want to see what the stats look like, because I, I already got it on the other character. Uh, the other persona I have, uh, like here's the cloak. So, the cl like this is the level 55 one, right? That's that's some phenomenal stats, and that's with the uh, brilliant shard of uh, the brilliant shard versus the uh, whatever the other erudite shard or whatever they're called for uh, that. So definitely, <laughs> and definitely uh, something worth. Uh, worth doing right so we will uh we'll work on that but uh, i don't think we're gonna work on it right now why is there like a line at the top of the screen jeez that is that is annoying me all right let's uh let's get through here yeah and it's actually going through on the uh on the recording all right uh where are we how do we even get the scarlet desert i guess that's the big question here so Scarlet search, Scarlet Desert. So we need to go twenty. Oh wow. Uh, so here, destination. Where's the? Hold on. <laughs> Set it. There we go. All right. So we need to go through Dawn Shroud Peaks, which is straight ahead. And then. Uh, Activate path. There we go. Sweet. Built-in awesomeness. There we go. So we need to go through Greg's end. Um, that is going to be an interesting adventure. Maybe we would kill some guys while we're there. Um, let's get a mercenary. Uh, I'm going to go with the tank one right now. Let's see how that goes. Uh, now, last time I did Greg's end... I did it with, uh, I think, the gnome group I had. Maybe a group before that. It was difficult because some of the mobs were... Uh, I, was, I was probably going there too early. I think someone told me I could go there at 50. And I was just getting tranced. <laughs> so um, we'll see how this actually turns out. All right. Oh, wow. And it saves it through the thing. Wow. That's so fantastic. I've never actually used this zone path... Uh, thing I was I have most of the most of it memorized right oh wow and it gives me a line all the way across the zone it's so nice uh, all right so that's running uh what else 
I've been gone for like a week and a half since the like <laughs> since the last time I've uh, played. So I might be a little rusty, but we're gonna have the uh, we're gonna have the tank mercenary out. And hopefully, I can evade off onto him uh, successfully. And uh, you know, I did not buy cloudy potions, did I? Uh, but I have some in my bag. Perfect. Now, cloudy potions are great because they're insta cast invisible potions. Uh, now, it's probably not as good as like rogue stealth, but uh, for the sake of saving my life, I think it's going to be fine. Uh, that wolf is light blue. I am not wasting my time. I, I don't even know how good some of the experience is on some of these places. But I know Greg's in my way, so we might get we might get a little leveled up uh, going through there, depending on uh, how that goes. I can't remember. I think my hide and sneak right now will do undead, but uh, I'm just not 100 percent sure. Uh, and going through this zone makes me think I should go clear Vex and uh, farm up some talismans for my other characters. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, let's go through here. Now we're gonna be in Greg's. Or Greg. I say Greg's, I don't know. Greg. I don't know. Alright, let's uh let's get in Viz here. Uh yeah. <laughs> of course <laughs> of course I did not uh do anything with uh hide and sneak. It is just so tedious. Like when I wanna play, I wanna play, right? I believe we're hidden now. Alright, let's take a look as we go through here. So let's con this guy. He's red 55. Oh, never mind. They, uh... They saw right through us. At least we're here at the zone line. Oh my gosh, a fourth one. Yeah, this is kind of like the same issue I had when I was here with, uh... My lower level characters. They were, uh... These mobs are pretty high. Alright, what do we got going on here? We got Temperance, we got Guard, let's get Taste. Come on. That's nah, not gonna work. Uh, I think we can do this with a Healer Mercenary for sure. This is gonna be a dicey meatball here, I'll tell you that. I do have Poisons on, so that should help a little. Uh, let's see, here's two Celestial Health. Let's get that haste. There we go. Uh, now, last week, I believe we picked the Fungi Tunic as our uh, item of choice. So, we do, in fact, have a Fungi Tunic on, so that should help us with regen. Some of the stuff, plus the uh, Celestial Healing Potion. So, <laughs> <laughs> holy shit, 19% experience. Uh, that is, that is lovely. Uh, now, I am, so I've been gone, right? It's July 2nd as I'm recording this. That means we're in the 76% bonus event that, uh, goes on during the 4th of July time period. Uh, so, 19% <laughs> experience. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, okay. You know, we might be changing, we might just stay here. I don't know. We'll see how uh, this works. Mercenary, I mean, she's tanking four of them. Uh, you know, it's she's doing what she can. Get the job done here. Let's look at smashing. How hard are we hitting these guys for? Not that hard. <laughs> All right, who are you fighting now? Where'd you go? Here on this one? Oh geez, there's another one right there. Now, I'm not sure if they saw me, or I just was not hidden. Uh, I could have swore I saw hidden, but... We'll find out here in a moment. Yeah, this is working out really well. And that's what, I guess, with a... Uh, I guess I had a model of Adventure 2 on, so... 19%. That's gotta be like the cap you can get. Like, uh, I don't know. I've, I've run into the issues where I've like had full, you know, like the experience bonus, right? And then, uh, 
Like, I, I, the experience potion doesn't do anything, so... That's good to see. Come on. That's looking good. Backstab is getting up in skill level there. Fade is working. I think uh, next week we'll try to find us an, uh, a nice weapon upgrade when we do it, because we should be 50. We should hit 50. Uh, my goal is to hit 50 this episode, so if it takes me multiple uh, recording sessions, I will get 50. Just to kind of get caught up with uh, where I want to go. I uh, So I think we have like two more days and we can go to Soul B. And then uh, we're going to go to Soul B because I need to get uh, Painbringer, Flesh Ripper, and some other stuff. Like, Because I, I want to start working on the Epic and get all that going, but right now they're like lovely. <laughs> it is just no fun. All right, you're doing well, Tank. You're tanking. Well, f she tanked four level 55 mobs, and she only got down to 54% health. Definitely uh, great there. All right, we got that one. I'm going to tag this one, see what we get here. Ooh, we got a bow on now. This one's a uh, caster guy. Oh, the 247 backstab is beautiful. If we go here to spell damage, right? Oh, he's resisting my bite of the shizza. Oh, we got one of them on there for 1200, so that's not bad. This is, this is actually pretty nice. Now, <laughs> this is going to be better than Scarlet's Desert, I'll tell you that. Uh, as long as this mercenary can stay alive. Alright, whoa, look at this, look at this path it has us going through through this zone. That's insane. Alright. Oh, 46. We've gained triple attack and we're rooted. Alright, so let's sneak and hide. All right, I failed hide there, so redo that. Oh, and the, the mercers are full health. Oh my god! All right, we failed that. Failed that. Because if we can sneak through this area without, like, uh, you know, a risk of death, uh, that we might be able to take some. Uh, Oh, what is the word I'm looking for here? We might be able to take some uh, cheap shots at some of these mobs where we can uh, kind of sneak up on them and get them in certain situations. We do have a sneak attack, so if we start the fight with backstab uh, from stealth, we will uh, do a little bit more damage, which will be nice. Oh my gosh, I need to really put some effort into the sneak and hide. this is going terribly <laughs> all right we are we are hidden uh so we have that going for us right now so if we can get sneak on there we go sneak as quiet as a cat stalking its prey all right let's con this guy before we go in here he's indifferent what about this guy indifferent and indifferent all right so we got three of them in this room i am going to do this i'm going to sneak attack I'm going to backstab him. I'm going to run away. <laughs> run over here. I'm going to make myself main assist. I'm going to make you main tank. And that should work out, right? I don't know what the respawn is on this room here, but uh, she should be able to keep them at bay while we uh, work our way through here. Let's move this like right here so it's out of the way so i am still going to use that path all right so we're getting triple attack so that means we will when we double attack we get a chance to do a triple attack from what i understand like i don't think it's just it's just it's like an extra onto that 
one of the descriptions I read. I could be wrong, could just be a, you know, another roll for a third attack after that, but uh, definitely got to increase our DPS, as you can see here. We're, okay, we should get start getting some threes in here. Yeah, there's a triple attack. No, that's a dual wield. We need three pierces in a row, I think, to uh, have it technically be a triple attack. Three oh two backstab though. It's looking good. But yeah, three forty eight. Oh, that just jumping. That is jumping. Let's look at our spell damage here. Fourteen hundred procs with that poison. Fantastic. Now. See these green numbers right here? They turn yellow and whatnot. So every time I hit hide, I should be able to fade off uh, some of that aggro, right? So I'm at 63 if I fade off again. Didn't get anything there. Uh, I failed. Evade anyway. I should be able to like get some of that aggro off. Like so I'm at 36, 17. So we want to keep our aggro number here. Let's see we. We went up because we procced and we backstabbed at the same time. We want to get that as low as possible. 45, you know. So every time we hit hide, we we do lower that aggro. So fading that off is going to be beneficial, I think. Uh, it, like in a group, you know, that'd be, you know, ideal to keep that as low as possible. But mostly for this mercenary, right? Because if we get ads, the, the ads are probably going to want to kill me right away. Uh, and being low aggro on this mob is going to make it that much easier for her to regain aggro, right? She's like, I think she's dual wielding blood fires or something right now. Uh, so I think uh, as as we level up, we want to just make sure we, we have as little aggro as possible. And uh, we let the mercenary uh, kind of lead the way when it comes to kind of some of this stuff. Uh, until, you know, until we can't use the tank mercenary anymore, which I'm guessing is going to be around 70 to 75, but we'll see. All right, that worked. So we're going to sneak. Failed that. We're going to hide. We've successfully hid. We just need to get a sneak, and we'll sneak our way through here. And we'll just kill along the way, I guess, because that'll get us leveled up. <laughs> Hopefully uh, we can hit 50. That's my goal. And then uh and then I'm gonna make a video on how I play this character. And uh then we'll start leveling to fifty-five. Alright, let's go through here. We're just gonna follow the path that the map is telling us to go through. And then we'll kill anything we see along the way. Like see here. Whoa. That's a new mob. He's indifferent though. He's fifty three. It's like two mobs in here. Alright. Are you right here? Sneak attack, backstab, boom. Four, four, 23. Oh my gosh. What a lovely amount of damage. That's just so nice. So nice when you do nice damage, you know what I mean? What are we at now? We're at 46 and 60%. Uh, these experience, like, I, I usually not, don't play during the experience bonuses and stuff like that, but at the same time, I want to play. <laughs> like um, the the month of July is going to be pretty much littered with uh, videos for my uh, Hobbs and Friends series, but I did not want to like neglect you know Tawani, uh, Voxel, and uh, the other stuff because they're just going to get so far behind. And not playing these guys during that you know like Tawani here is gonna get her pretty far behind and I you know might as well just keep the schedule that I had planned right which is uh, once a week I think that's that's an ample ample number for this and uh, we should should get 50 that'll get us a little bit further ahead um, I'll probably make another episode or two before the bonus ends uh, next week so just depends on uh, 
what I decide to do after this. If I go back and play a little Teak, get a little, get my Necromancer. I think my Necromancer is 48 or 49. I need to get that thing 50 so I can make his vid his setup video and then uh, try to get him to uh, 60 as quick as possible. Kind of lost out some time there, but I want to get him going. Okay, I'm back up. Just so hard to uh, find time to do everything you want to do. Alright, what do we got in here? We got, we got a mob... Whoa, what is this? Con that thing. That is a rare mob, alright. Hey buddy, come on up here. Theoretically, we should get that solo. We did. Alright, I've never killed a name mob here, so this is gonna be cool. Get a... Is there... Let's see here, not Slayer. Lucklin, Hunter... Griags. Yeah, there are, there are a few named here. Nice. Getting, we're not getting any triple attacks yet, unfortunately. Uh, but this guy was 99.9. .9. We're gonna level up. Oh, he procked and turned a mercenary into a beetle. That's cool. All right, we're about to lose our experience potion, and I don't feel like not having experience potion, so we're gonna click that as soon as that wears off. Or if he's got like some kind of weapon or something that procs that, that'd be kind of cool to have. Let's refresh this and then I think we're good on everything else. There we go. I've just had so many of these, uh, these free uh, experience potions through all these characters. Oh, speaking of free, uh, so uh, that's, that's tempting, but $35 for a collection stack? I don't know. This right here is uh, the new free item, right? And this is a uh, teleportation item. Uh, oh, nice, 47. Uh, this is a teleportation item to uh, uh, Dagnor's Cauldron. So it's right outside of Kedge, so we're going to go ahead and snack a Rooney of that thing for this character. And then we got a Mantle of Distraction, which is a fairly nice item. Look at this. Uh, 35, 10, 10, 10, 7. It's a nice shoulder item, uh, probably in the era of Lucklin, but 1900 tribute. That's definitely nice to have. Now, I don't believe it's an upgrade because we have Ornate, right? So... No, no point in even thinking about that, but let's put this in our key ring real quick so it's not wasting space. There we go, we got a new teleportation item. This will take us to Kedge. I don't even need that on my bar. Ah, uh, but that'll be nice to have if we ever go to Kedge. Whoa, actually we are going to have to go to Kedge uh, now that I think about it because we're going to need a Kedge robe. So that'll be something we have to actually go there for. So... Uh, we'll have to figure out. <laughs> Probably take a healer mercenary and we'll be able to sell it, no problem. Uh, but probably about 55, 60 we'll go try to solo uh, uh, a Fenegal and uh, see how that works out for us. And uh, we can we can in go into the live portion and do uh, the Harbringer if that's up to get the uh, robe. But, uh, I don't know. I think I said I was going to give this character a Head of the uh, an Enduring Breath item, but I guess I did not. Because I went to, so I went to do, I think it was the Frost Key, right? I said I was going to, I wanted to do the Frost Key, but it was all underwater. My turns out. When I did the, what I, you'll see in the video that I did, like all the, mo all the fish were spawned on the surface. Like it was so, so weird. So I was able to, uh, Oh, she has no armor. I was able to uh, just kill the fish without even having to go in the water, which was kind of funny. But, uh... 
That is life, I suppose. 257. Alright, what do we got? Make sure. Let's see if we can. Oh, we got a guy at the door there. Alright, we're gonna ping him. I don't know if his friend's gonna come with him. We got that guy. Who are you gonna fight? There we go. Under control, and she should be able to take these, no problem. So we are 47 and 38%. By the time we get through here and get to Scarlet's, Scarlet Desert, I think we will, uh... We will be 50. Uh, wow. I mean, we haven't even gone very far. Look at this. We've gone, like, one room. He's just have so many hit points because we're so such a lower level, but... Well, definitely worth it. Uh, I think I'll probably sneak after these guys and kind of get closer to over here, I think. Probably, uh... Probably a good idea. Just so we're not spending forever here. But our damage should be going up. A little bit more and then uh next week we'll buy a new primary weapon i think uh we'll see what we can find i mean if we look in the bazaar right now right uh let's see here type one hand piercing slot primary class rogue level should be 50 next week Find items. Prices uh, gonna be low. Now I'm thinking about getting blood point, right? Because the life tap heal, but we might not need that. Let's sort by lowest price here. So what do we have now? We have a frost and ice spike. Um, actually, we can. There is a way to sort these. Select by stat. There's like weapon ratio in one of these. Yeah, ratio. There we go. Find. Sword by ratio. That's a nice weapon. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going here. Actually, uh, hide. Sneak. I feel extra slow now. So we're going to go through, just like sneak a little bit through here while we're looking at these right here. So the options are not really that great. Like the horn would be a nice item. But uh, I don't know. That's like the best option, but I might have to, I'd have to go get that ourselves. All right, let's, uh, let's kind of go through here. This guy is, like, all alone, but let's just leave him. All right, what's in this room here? Just more mobs. So it's not, it's not as densely packed, the, I guess, inside here. Like, the entrance is, feels really densely packed. This isn't too bad. Now, I know some of this stuff's undead, so we kind of have to, like, make sure we uh, use this versus the uh, invis potions. Uh, let's see here. Not even halfway through the zone. Go through this door here. Oh man. <laughs> if my uh, Hobbs and Friends wasn't already uh, 60 plus, I would uh, definitely uh, bring them here. I think they could have easily hit uh, 
50 to 60 here in Oberum. All right. Well, that's kind of nice. Kind of an outdoor zone. I didn't even realize that. I thought we were like in a inside of a castle. It's not too bad. All right, let's kill something because I'm bored. So we're going to sneak attack this guy and backstab. 477. Not bad at all. Bait him. Come on. The hits are pretty, uh, like, I mean, they're hitting for 189.99. So they have some substantial hits for sure. So that's good. I think I'm going to take Elbow Strike off my bar because there was a timer conflict with something else. It was backstab. Yeah, throw stone in that. Yeah, they all and sneak attack all share the same timer. Oh, that's why I'm going slow. I don't have the G boots on. All right, we're gonna tag this guy. Kind of fight right here. That guy was only 15%, what? <laughs> Alright, so we are almost 48, nice. Very nice indeed. At 51, we're gonna get our first AAs, which will only be like general AAs, so there's nothing too fancy there, but at 59, we will get Chaotic Stab. Which will give us, you know, you know, give us a backstab from any angle. That uh, it's going to be the minimum backstab, but it's still, you know, a little bit extra damage in those cases where we are we are face tanking. There we go, forty-eight. All right, hide. I failed. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time. I'm just going to pull this guy. Turn off sneak and get this guy. So that guy was, uh, you know, pretty good experience there. Let's see if we can get this one up into uh, this next one. So where, how far are we now? So we're almost halfway through the zone. This would definitely take um, <laughs> multiple hours to go through. Uh, if I cleared everything along the way. So we're going to kind of jump a little bit forward over to here, I think, after this guy. All right, hidden and sneak. So I'm going to sneak kind of over here, and then we'll go from there. All right, so this mob right here, the Servant of the Magistrate, actually saw us. Uh, we didn't get very far, but uh, he saw us, so we had to kill him. I don't know, uh, maybe we don't have, like, hide versus undead yet? I don't know, like, I thought we did, but I'm not 100% sure, so. We'll figure it out. He is level 56, so he's a little bit higher, so that could be just, uh, you know, a level thing. Got another one on us, oh my gosh. Why is she not, like, saving my butt? <laughs> there we go. Now, if anything starts to go like we're gonna die, I am going to evac out of here with the Drunkard Stein, so... I'm not gonna take a death. I'm not going to take a death. And then we can just, uh, we can just run back. Fifteen percent for that guy. Not bad. Not bad. So we're thirty-one percent into forty-eight. Now I believe we get like a backstab. 
Like something that increases our minimum backstab, right? Oh my gosh, triple backstab? What? <laughs> when do we get... Okay, so yeah, so here we go. This passive ability grants you a 5% chance to attempt a third backstab after a double backstab. What? Double backstab. Where is double backstab? <laughs> Maybe that's something we get later on. I think this is a level 55 innate, right? There we go. Here's the one that lowers the increases our uh, backstab uh, minimum damage. Right there. Jeez, 70 levels of that. Uh, but we need backstab precision right here before we can do that. Increases our accuracy of our backstab. Nice. Alright, we got these guys. No problem here. What are they? 56. I noticed when we came uh, through this gate right here, the mobs were higher level, like 56, 57. So definitely uh, something to keep an eye out for if you're coming here. All right, what do we lose? Losing this. Losing that. Lost this. What is this? And I did not buy. I did not buy the <laughs> potions for uh, HP. So I'll have to buy some of those at the, the next level rank. That way we don't have to switch mercenaries and all that nonsense to get uh, temperance. Though it is worth it to switch to uh, get that. All right, so we're gonna hide and sneak again. Uh, see how far we can get uh, getting towards this zone line. All right, we've gotten a little bit further, but we've run into a pickle. <laughs> there are three of these guys in here. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to sneak, sneak past them, so we're just going to kill them as we fight through here. Now, as, I was, I've, as I've been walking through this area right here in this room, these rooms right here, mobs have just been appearing in, before me, so... It's kind of interesting. Uh, I've never, I've never really spent any time here. I think I killed the uh, gray egg once or twice, like back when when Luckland was a real expansion, and I never really spent any time here because I was doing uh, uh, Shasha Ross uh, Temple for keys and stuff. You know, that was like what I I focused all my time on with when I logged on to get keys and help out. You know, whatever guild I was in at the time. So, uh, this is quite interesting to see how this is, uh, playing out. Oh, we got another one. Probably a roamer. Now oh, we got that guy, too. Alright, let's do a little switchy switch. Now they are, they are hitting pretty hard. Ah, uh, but uh, our mercenary is doing a fantastic job here. Should get us to uh, should get us to uh, forty nine, I think. I might be able to keep sneaking through here. Like I don't know, I'm gonna try. That's my goal. <laughs> like I I, I wanted. I, I, I want to actually finish this quest, which will give us 20-ish, 15 to 20 percent experience. Maybe a little bit more since it is uh, uh, it, there's an experience bonus bonus going on. So I kind of want to like do that, but I don't want to go beyond 50 because I'll have to sacrifice myself down. That's a little bit of extra work since I can't just die and lose a level. <laughs> All right, this will get us 49. Perfect. So I think, you know, I, I was looking for a weapon, right, uh, for next week. 
And I'm thinking that instead of a, a like an, a main hand, maybe we should look into a dagger, right? Like an offhand. Cause this is a 0.6. That's pretty that's a pretty good ratio, right? Uh if we switch this to like one hand slashing, we could search here. And there's a lot of options. Uh that's something like that. 49. Awesome. Some kind of gem there. So you can see there's you know some options here that we can look through and uh kind of see. Uh, so next week we'll take a we'll take a real deep look into this before we uh, start killing anything on that. But I think that'll be kind of uh, I think an offhand might be better off than getting a main hand. Uh, so we hit our hit ourselves and we are stalking our prey. So con that guy. Try to get through here. All right, we got another giant open area here. It's like an interesting castle. I wish they would have redone this zone in uh, uh, the the two Luckland expansions, right? Like, I wish that would have been kind of that would have been kind of cool to come back here and uh, do this zone as a as one of the new new revamped Luckland zones. Hell is that? <laughs> All right, your mind wanders as you travel deeper. Seems to be a nightmare. So we can kind of sneak through here. All right, so now we—I think we've we've hit the lower end of the zone, so we should be fine. We should be able to just be able to go through here. I do want to hit. Uh, we're gonna go out to uh, Scarlet Desert real quick and do the quest right uh, if we don't hit 50 doing the quest because i mean five mobs that's like 20 percent experience each plus 15 to 20 percent experience for doing the quest like like I, I feel like that's enough to get me to 50. uh if not we'll come back in here and kill a few mobs for uh for the giggles uh kind of just stops right here doesn't it all right, wants us to go through this door. But being a rogue is is pretty fun. Um, I don't know if I would do it. You know, I might. I, I would like to try it on a TLP. I would almost switched because I was I was a monk, right, on uh, Teak, and then I was like, you know what, this is kind of annoying, and boring, because uh, there's just so many monks in the guild I join and whatnot. And, you know, it just kind of got. Like, I don't mind pulling, but it's just like, that's all I was doing. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I want something a little, a little less intensive, but apparently rogues have a hard time getting groups, which is unfortunate because they do so much damage. Like, uh, it's not monk level damage, but once they get, start getting weapons and stuff, they are doing insane amount of damage. All right. Uh, so let's turn off sneak. Okay, where are we? Perfect. So I did I honestly didn't even know there was a zone line to the zone in here. So the sun reverends are like up there. So let me do this. I'm gonna use a cloudy potion just to avoid having to kill trash while we're here. And we're gonna go around here. So these are all like light blue and stuff now. <laughs> It's a level uh, 45 quest. But I feel like this should uh, get us to uh, 50. If not, we'll go back in, kill whatever it takes to get 50. But I like doing these daily quests because they give an item, right? Like, I don't know if this one's actually going to be an upgrade for us, but... Typically, you get a nice upgrade, right? And that's just something nice to have. Nice stats, nice focuses, you know, depending on the piece. Uh, the zones that these are, you know, have a nice chance to drop uh, stuff. Uh, like Defiant Armor and stuff like that. So it's always good to do that. And these should be trivial to us. They're actually light blue, so that's unfortunate. So I, I feel like we're probably going to have to go back in. Uh, we got a chancellor here. What is he? Con? Oh, he's rare. Nice. 
So there is a 76% chance for more rare item, more rare uh, guys. There's a 76% faction and 76% experience bonus going on right now. So if I feel like if it feels like I'm leveling too fast, yeah, well, that's why. <laughs> All right, we need to kill five of these things. So we'll see how much experience they give. Six percent. That is unfortunate. All right, we get a Grail of Justice. This is a range item. Uh, let's loot that. We aren't gonna use that, but uh, it's got a thirty tribute on it. So go tribute that. Also, uh, I, I said it in my Hobbs and Friends series, but if, if I loot something during one of these videos uh, from like a raid mob or anything like that, that someone out there wants and I don't need it, just ask for it in the comments with your name on Front of I and I will parcel it over. Uh, that's That goes for like all the, <laughs> all the videos. Uh, when I start doing missions and stuff like that, you know, like Zlandikar and all those things for, on the uh, Hobbs and Friends all those items that I, I don't need, I will uh, I will parcel them out. I've just been putting stuff on my my auction, my bizarre characters for like one platinum just to get rid of stuff. Uh, but I am uh, looking to unload a lot of the junk that I get. Uh, and if no one wants it, I'm just going to start tributing stuff because I've I'm a hoarder and uh, it's just not fun anymore. Alright, looking good here. So what are we at? We are at 26%, so this is... If we got here at 45, I think it would have been uh, a lot better experience, but... You can just kind of kill them all. <laughs> Which is fine, right? Like, you know, sometimes it's easier. Quicker mobs, you know, we... I think at 55 or 46 or something like that, we get Assassinate. I don't know what level that is. Actually, I think it's an AA, isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe it's... Oh, no, anatomy. Here it is. This passive ability grants your backstab and critical throwing attacks to deal 32,000 damage. 259 or lower. So there we go. At 60, we're going to get uh, the ability to assassinate. So this is ornate. We have a simple cloak, ornate shoulders and ornate belt. So that means we can actually get the ornate cloak here. And that is going to be an upgrade. So that is nice. Let's go ahead and put that on while our mercenary soul is that guy. There we go. And we only got, uh, what do we get here? 19% experience. So we got 19% experience for the quest and 5% uh, for the kill. So there we go, that was done with that. Let's go back into Greg's End and get 50 real quick. Alrighty, well, so I also saw while I was out there, there's an agent of change, I think, for this zone, which is kind of cool, because I did not realize there was one for this zone. Oh, so that is nice to know. Alright, uh... Let's go this way. I'm surprised there's no mobs right here. I'm not even stealthing, so we're just gonna... Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, there's a guy right here. <laughs> Alright. Repost, repost. Don't die, don't die. There you go, good boy. Oh, turned us into a skeleton. I think I can backstab from this angle. They just recently patched uh, backstab angles, so this one... Seems to be a nice angle, if you ask me. There we go, 76%. Yeah, so this should, should get us 50 and a few kills here. 12% now. I want to sneak up on this guy, so we hid, we failed to sneak. This is going to be our target. All right, sneak attack, come on around, and boom. Ah, it was only 148. 
eventually we get criticals and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm, ideally, I want to try to try to do that so that we can, you know, sneak attack these guys and uh, be able to. All right, try and kill them as you know, or get them as low as we can before we actually engage them. And I think that might be how we can progress, uh, you know, into the one tens. Uh, you know, towards 120, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Uh, by allowing me, you know, by changing the rules so that I can buy things, right? I can I can always buy a raid dagger, or uh, you know, the ice encrusted one that we can use, or the yeah, I can buy the raid dagger from Ring of Scale at 110, and that'll help us progress a little bit further, I think, than normal gear. So things like that are gonna be really helpful later on. <laughs> But uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, how we do? Oh yeah, here we go. This is it. Two twenty-three double attack. Come on. There we go. All right, so we got Innate Prowless 3, Veterans Enhancement, and uh, that's nice. So that's an extra whatever percent health, or HP, uh, not HP, uh, damage, and some other stuff. So that's pretty good. Uh, but there we go. We have uh, we've hit 50. That's my goal for the day. Uh, so it's been really, uh, pretty good. Uh, this is a surprise. Uh, did not expect to do this zone, but uh, this is where we ended up. So... Uh, there we go. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.